Hello there. Earlier this season I made up these little brackets that are used to adapt a two inch hole in my deep water culture beds into a one inch hole and the purpose was to grow onions in these. And so we're going to take a look at how these held up, a couple other experiments I did throughout the season and we'll harvest uh, some of the onions and show you how everything did. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for helping to make this channel possible. My top supporters are TrueAquaponics.com and GlassBottleOutlet.com. Make sure you pay them a visit. I did a little bit of filming uh, earlier in the season, getting the onions started. I found all that on my computer. I honestly don't remember what I recorded, so I'll try to piece some of that together to show you how these grew from start to finish. I did a previous video on these supports that I made up so make sure you check that out to see what that's all about and so we're gonna experiment with those this year and see how they do a couple months ago I started some onions from seed they're doing okay, not quite as big as I was hoping they would be by the time it was ready to transplant. So I may have to buy some onion starts this year. But we'll get these started and see how they go throughout the course of the year. I like to use the expanded shale. It's been crushed up into a, a gravel, but basically any gravel will do. Get them started. And I've had really good luck using the one inch grow grips just to hold the plant like that. Rinsing off the roots, I just get the gravel off of it so they don't end up in my deep water culture bed. And then I put them in here so that the bulb is just going to be above the, the grow grip and it will grow right on top of it. And we'll set them right into their holder. Alright, we'll check back in in a week or two and see how they're doing. I really packed the onions onto this raft. There's 36 on here. You can see this one is quite large and is grown right into the side of the post. Um, I did have a couple losses. This one had rotted out. Um, this one's rotten too. And they really stink when they're rotten. And on this side, I have one raft uh, propped underneath it. This is just one inch uh, board on here. And the weight of the onions did uh, sink this raft you can see on this side that there's water on top of the the raft so I think for the next growing season I'll set up some rafts that are uh, two inches thick and that will definitely keep these from uh, sinking down some of the areas that did sink under the water um, it did stunt the growth of the onions or they rotted out so keeping them up out of the water and drier is definitely going to make a huge difference Usually once these stems uh, start to tip over and the base of this starts to turn brown, it's time to harvest the onions. Uh, these are not ready for harvesting, but since they're outgrowing the stands, I'm going to harvest them anyways. Um, they probably could grow for another month or so before they um, start uh, browning out at the top. Um, it's okay to harvest them earlier, um, but it would have been nice to actually grow these a little bit bigger. So maybe on the next design I'll uh, widen these up even a little bit further. I honestly was not expecting these to, to grow uh, this large. Now the original concept was to get the onions started in here, have the greens come up through the hoop, 
and that would keep the onion from tipping over once the, the greens got too heavy. Uh, the problem was that the onion was just sitting on the raft before and rolling over and it was pulling the roots up out of the water or they were breaking. Uh, so once the onions get larger like this, this is not really doing much to support anymore because there's not a whole lot in there. But if it did happen to start the roll, at least uh, this would catch that. So the concept of this worked fantastic. I'm really happy on how well that these did. Last year, I did not have hardly this close to luck with uh, growing the onions. So I think we have a winner here. And I think uh, this winter I'll do a little redesign of these and get ready for the next growing season. One of the other plants that I tried to experiment with was holding up some bush beans. However, you can see there's not much left to the bracket here. The beans grew great in here. However, uh, the brackets or these holders were just no match for the weight of the beans. They just get far too large and cause all kinds of problems. Taking a closer look at this bracket, you can see that the plastic just did not hold up to the force of this bean trying to lean over and uh, this one snapped off. The base stayed in the in the raft so it at least held the bean in place uh, but just the twisting action stuff really destroyed uh, this bracket. There's not much left to it at all. Some of this might be a little bit of UV degradation. Um, usually this plastic holds up somewhat okay in the sun. It is yellowed a bit, but it's just strictly really the force of this bean tipping over and ripping this apart. So if I want to do anything larger plants, I'm going to have to come up with a different adapter that's a little bit stronger. Here's a whole bunch more beans. Um, this was 18 to a two by four foot raft. And you can see again, these brackets just did not uh, hold up. You would think that even with them all clustered together, they would have done okay, but these things just shattered apart. So definitely um, this design is no good for any of the larger plants. So I think I'll pull a couple of these larger ones out just to alleviate some of the weight on the raft and we'll check it out. And I'll leave some of these smaller ones to continue growing uh, through the rest of the season. That's quite the root structure. And there's one slug hiding in here. You can never get rid of those slugs. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. That's a pretty good root structure. Got a couple composting worms hiding in here. But that root is about 24. Actually, if we went from tip to tip. We're at about three feet long, so it's uh, 36 inches roughly. Pretty good size. And the bottom of this bracket, it did fall apart, so definitely need to work on that design on the strength. Let's take this off. I'm just gonna snap this off because it's not doing me much good anymore. Oops, maybe I can't snap it. All right, so it's still somewhat flexible, so we're just gonna take that off the top. And there we have it. Not much left to the grow grip. I'm not surprised about that. There's a lot of roots going through there. So basically using that grow grip as a disposable unit. And this onion has a pretty good split in it too. It's still usable, um, but you know, it would have been nice to have a perfect looking onion. We'll see what some of the other ones look like. Okay, here are a few more. This one I pulled and it is rotten all the way through and it smells horrible. And this one was actually sitting in the water all the time, so I'm not surprised that this uh, rotted out. These other ones, oh, this one's getting a little soft too. Again, it was in the water. Oh, it's very soft on this side, so I think it's no good. That's too bad. This one looks pretty good. It's sort of got a little weird flat shape to it. It's definitely usable. 
This is a nice one too. And this one looks pretty good too. Let's get a couple of quick weights on these. It's not gonna be super accurate because there's still, the greens are on here. It's 610 grams, 522, 566, 592. I'm gonna tie these up and hang them in here for a while just so that they can cure. They need to get a nice brown skin on them and dry out a little bit. Now if you did the math out, let's say on the conservative side, these are only 500 grams a piece. Uh, 36 to a raft, if you had perfect growth, is 1,800 or 18 kilos of onions. I think that's a pretty good growth rate for an area that's two feet by four feet. You should be hung in a warm and dry environment. The greenhouse is plenty warm enough. It's not perfectly dry, uh, but I don't seem to have much of a problem drying my herbs in here. So we're gonna try curing the onions in here. So there you have it. Sorry about the noise of the fans running today. It's uh, actually quite warm out, but this is my little onion experiment for the year. We'll work on a few improvements for next year. So make sure you subscribe and follow along on our adventures. But we're just gonna put them near these fans and see how they do. Oh, whoop. String sucks.